In this video, I will show you how easy and quick it is to add documents to a binder. In this example, we are organizing documents for a green energy company. This is a newly created binder with a cover and some tabs. There is more than one way you can use to add documents to your binder. You can use the document menu, add, or the right click menu, or simply drag one or more files directly onto a tab. Documents you have received or scanned, or created in Word, Excel and other applications. In this instance I'm dragging an email to the Emails tab, the Word document onto the Quotes tab, the PDF brochure onto the Yellow tab, and so forth. As you can see from the Table of Contents page or panel, the documents have been added to the tabs quickly. If you need to, you can further organize documents easily in the Table of Contents. Just select and drag to the new position. Now I will show you how you can quickly add an internet page to your binder. Let's go to a tab, right click and choose Add Document from Internet. A new web page dialog appears. Type or paste the web address. A new page will be created in your binder with the content of that web page. This page is linked to the website so every time you want to go back to the site you simply edit the document. This will automatically start your browser with the web page already displayed. Since your binder document is linked to the site, if the web page is updated you can choose to update your document in binder or keep it as it is. More about updating documents later in this video. Next, let us look at how you can add blank pages and then put some content on them. First choose Add Document Stationery and select a style of page background. To add content to your new page, switch to the Document view. More details about this view in a separate video. OK, now we're on the Document view. There are some buttons on the right hand side. Choose the Add Content button. Along the top, there are some tools to let you mark up your document, add text and images. First we will add an image and scale it as we wish. Then let's add some text. Position the text box, size it and type in the text. Finally, style it as you wish. As you can see, it was simple to create this quick document to keep as your notes in GDoc Binder. Just as we saw how to link web content to a page, you can also keep documents in your binder linked to original documents on your computer. For example, the Word document we put in the Orange Quotes tab. If we want to keep it up to date with the Word file, it's easy. Right click on it and select Edit. Binder knows where it is on your computer and that it needs to be edited in the original application. It will open the document for you. Once you have done your edits, in this example let's change the logo, and save it in the original application. Back in Binder, every time you reopen the Binder it does a check for document updates automatically. However, in this example, since we changed the letter while Binder was already open, we need to do it now, check for document updates. This will check all the document links and display a symbol in the table of content beside the documents that have changed. You can right click on them in the table of contents or directly on the document in the tab and select update. Binder will then update the documents as you can see. You will have noticed that the web page document also has an update symbol beside it. This indicates that the website has changed. This time I will right click on the table of contents entry and do the update. As you can see the web page has been updated in Binder. In the yellow brochures tab we put a PDF brochure with a number of pages. Perhaps you don't want to send all the pages to a potential customer, only pages 1 and 3 for example. You can right click on it and unstaple the document. This splits the document into four individual pages you can then select groups of them to create new documents. In this instance, I reselected all the pages 
and stapled them again. As you can see, it was very quick and easy to add documents to a binder.